state legislature has made cuts to all of the major universities in the state of Iowa. The school who is suffering the most from these cuts is you and I. Well, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, President Allen announced that there are going to be some cuts to you and I to help us with our, um, our budget gap that's been going on for a number of years and we keep getting cut by the, the state legislature. So in order to uh, make sure that you and I can continue to operate, uh, some cuts had to be made. Previously, they've been a little tiny across the board cuts where everyone kind of gets affected just a little bit, but we're to the point now where you have to start making strategic decisions. It is obvious that things have changed over the past few decades at UNI, and now the university must accommodate for these changes. We had a nice boom time during the 80s and 90s. Uh, enrollment was way up, uh, so the university expanded. Well, now our enrollment's down a little bit from that time, and uh, our state funding has dropped drastically. And so we can't really afford to keep um, everything just the way it has been for the last couple of years. Students of you and I have different opinions on the situation, as there is no obvious win-win scenario. I guess I just think that everyone should try and band together um, and think of what's best for the university and for the community. And I think that that might have to be closing Christ Lab. There are no winners of budget cuts. We, I mean, we just have to do what we have to do in this situation. I mean, if we don't have the money, we can't afford to do some things. It's sad, but I also think that if the legislature is going to reprimand you and I for closing it and say that we need to keep it open, then the legislature should pay for it because you and I doesn't have the funding with the cuts that they're giving us. We definitely want to maintain our reputation as a college of education. It's just a matter, matter of how to do that with or without the lab school or how we can maintain that. So I don't know. It's kind of a time of uncertainty. So. It'll be interesting to see where it goes. President Ben Allen has announced the different areas that would suffer from the funding cuts. That he would be recommending the closure of Price Lab School, uh, a $500,000 cut to athletics, print services are closing down, the museum, something close to 80 academic programs that would be closed down as well. The UNI Museum has been greatly affected by the cuts, as they will be forced to close this summer. Well, right now, um, the museum is scheduled to close to the public on June 30th, 2012. Um, it will still be an entity of the university, however, most of the collection will be in storage. The museum has been an essential part of the university for years. Museums are an important part of education, um, not just for study and research, but for learning. We're just unfortunate that we're not in that great of a building and it's um, unsafe for those objects. So we have to close the building and because of budget cuts, we can't afford to find new space or have a new one. Um, it would be helpful if you wrote administration, um, write to your uh, local representatives and legislators um, in support of us and come and visit. Come and visit us before we close. We want to see everyone. I think that you and I is uh, having to make some tough decisions right now. And I think that we're kind of going through a rough patch, but I think if everyone just kind of pulls together and supports each other, we'll get through it and come out all the stronger for it.